In this video, we are going to learn how to create frequency response analysis and extract equivalent radiated power or ERP in SimSolid. For the sake of this demo, we'll be using this model that's already been set up and run for model analysis. To run model analysis, the model has been constrained at the bottom faces as highlighted in red here. And we have also extracted nine elastic modes. Let's go ahead and review the frequencies. The first frequency is around 1200 Hertz. Enable the deformed shape to view the mode shift for this structure. Switch to other frequencies to see various mode shifts for this structure. We are going to use this model analysis to set up a frequency response analysis. Pick frequency response from the analysis toolbar. As you can see, the frequency response is automatically linked to the model subcase that we just reviewed. Let's set the frequency span from 1100 to 1800 Hz. We'll use a model damping of 3%. The next step is to create a frequency function. We are going to use one of the standard frequency functions. Set the type to uniform. The last step is to create a load. We are going to apply base excitation load of type acceleration with an amplitude of one meters per second square in Z direction. The setup for frequency response is complete. Let's go ahead and run the analysis. Once the results are available, you can choose to query different result types like displacements, velocity, acceleration, etc. Let's plot displacement magnitude. You can choose to animate over a range of frequencies. Or look at deformed shape at a specific frequency. Similarly, you can plot ERP density. SimSolid also supports querying results on an entire phase. To do so, open pick info. We are going to query ERP, so change the response type to ERP and pick a phase of interest. SimSolid evaluates the integral of ERP density over the selected phase. The plotted curve gives the ERP value for the selected phase over the range of frequencies. Let's plot ERP for one more phase. SimSolid also allows plotting ERP for multiple phases. To do so, just pick multiple faces from the Pick Info dialog and the total ERP for the selected faces is plotted here. Thank you.